Hi everyone welcome back to another video of Honey Web Designer. In this video, we will create search API using Node.js with Mongoose. First, we create a single field search API then create multiple fields. Let's start code. I have opened my code editor. Here, I have index.js file. Next, open your terminal and install Express and Mongoose package. For Express, write npmi, install, express command and press enter. Next, for Mongoose write npmi mongoose command and press enter. In package.json file, you can see we successfully install Express and Mongoose packages. Next, create a config.js file for Sparrow database connection. First, import Mongoose package. Next, create a connection with database. In connect method we can pass the path of our server. Here, I can use a local server. So I pass local host path. Here, I want to connect to ecom database, which have one collection named products. And in this collection we can get the product name, price brand, and also get a category of the product. In connect method we can pass mongob, forward slash, forward slash, localhost 27017 slash ecom. Ecom is the name of database which we want to connect. Next we create a new file with name products.js, in this file we create a schemas and model for products. First, we import mongoose packages. Next, create a schema. In this schema, we enter which data we can get from the user and set its type example, string, number etc. In this product collection, we want to save the name of product, price, brand and category of product. Next, exports the model module, here you have a question why we export model module. Because model contains a schema due to this reason we export model module. In model, we have two parameter, first contain collection name and second contain our schema. Next, open your index.js file. First import express module. Next, import config.js file. Next, import product model form products.js file. Next, create an app. Next choose a port where you want to run your application, I choose 5000. Next, create an appget method. In this method our first parameter is a root, and second is a callback function. Here, I write a root search. In callback function we have two parameter request and response you can give any name to it. Next, I use res.send method to check our API work or not. Open your terminal and run index.js file. Next, open your browser and run your application. Here, you can see I get a result successfully that mean our API work properly. Now, I send a key in URL. Because I get this key and matches with database record, if record match then I show a record. First, I write keyword next to search root. Because, I get a key from params. Next, I use console.log method and in this I use requparams.key. In res.send method I can also write requparams.key. Now, I send two key in a params reload browser. Here, you can see I get key successfully. Now, you can see I write vivo and I get it successfully on browser. Now, I match this key with database record and show the record on browser. Now, I use find method to get the record from database. This method return promise, for handling this promise first I need to make a function async. Now, in find method I write a code for searching record. First we create an object, then I write dollar or operator. Next, I create an array. In this, array I create an other object. Next I use regex. 
It is a sequence of characters that define a search pattern. In this object I create an other object and in this object we write our field where I want to apply searching method. First, I write a code for name field for applying searching functionality. Next, I convert data into JSON format, for this I write epuse method and in this method I use express JSON method. In res.send method I pass a data variable. In database I have different product record I search this product with his name. Now, I write min key. You key see I get no record, because in our database no record are available related to our search key. Next, I search iPhone. Here, you can see I get a result successfully related to iPhone product. Next I search for Vivo. Again I get result successfully. Now, I write a code for multiple field search. For this you can copy the name object. Here, you change the name with brand. Again copy this and change brand with category. Now, our key match with name, brand, and category and I get result. Here, I write M and you can see I get result related to M, this match with category of product, mobile. You can notice, I get only 3 record, but in database we have 4, because I enter small M, but in category we have 1 capital M. If this video is helpful for you, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share it with friends. Thank you for watching.